Get ready for a roller coaster ride of shocking stories that will make your jaw drop and your stomach churn. In this video, we're going to explore the dark side of fun. Because while amusement parks are supposed to be places of wonder, they can also turn into nightmarish experiences when things go wrong. You might even think twice before hopping on your favorite thrill ride after seeing this. From the tragedy on the giant water slide to the free fall that went horribly wrong. Here's 20 tragic amusement park disasters. Number 20, Giant Water Slide. We start things off with an incident that shows the fragility of life. We're talking about the tragic incident that unfolded at Zender Splash Village in Frankenmuth, Michigan. Helping for excitement, young London Assembies had her sights set on conquering the infamous Superloop Speed Slide. Standing tall at a whopping 273 feet, this colossal chute promised an adrenaline rush like no other. This tragic 10-year-old girl didn't survive this giant water slide. This is what happened to her. London's dream was finally realized during a family trip to the water park in February of 2018. Meeting the height requirement, the 10-year-old wasted no time and darted straight towards the four-story tube, ready to embrace the exhilarating plunge that awaited her. But tragedy struck in the middle of this adventure. As London descended down the slide, an unforeseen turn of events sent shockwaves through her. She went into cardiac arrest, shuttering the dreams of a young girl and leaving her family in a state of unimaginable grief. The incident cast a somber shadow over the water park, as the staff and visitors grappled with the sudden loss of a young soul. Questions arose, and the family seeking answers to what caused this outcome. The authorities embarked on a thorough investigation, but it seems as though this was just a horrible tragedy that no one was expecting. Number 19, Orlando Freefall. In another sad turn of events, we're going to look at the tragic story surrounding the Orlando Freefall Drop Tower at Icon Park. Let's try and uncover the details of this harrowing incident that left a community in shock. 14-year-old Tyre Sampson went on what was supposed to be an exciting day out. The Orlando Freefall, known as the world's tallest freestanding drop tower, stood ready to unleash a thrill like no other. Little did anyone anticipate the tragedy that was about to unfold. Bystanders captured the moment on video, hoping to enjoy the excitement of the moment the free fall went into action. But what followed was a nightmare that no one could have foreseen. In a split second, Tyree slipped from his seat, plunging to the ground below during the heart-stopping 400-foot drop. The devastating impact of this tragic accident reverberated throughout the community. As Nekia Dodd, Tyree's grieving mother, stood witness to the dismantling of the very ride that stole her son's future, she shared her deepest hope that no family would have to endure the pain she endured over the past year. Tyree's untimely departure has left a void in his family's life, a life full of untapped potential cut short. The dismantling of Orlando Freefall just goes to show the importance of safety in the world of amusement park attractions. Makes you want to hold your loved ones a little tighter. And hey, remember that we appreciate you guys. Give us a like and subscribe so we can continue this journey together. Number 18, Terminal Velocity. In another shocking incident that rocked the world of amusement parks, we now take a look into the events that unfolded at Extreme World in Lake Delton, Wisconsin. On that day, the Terminal Velocity Freefall Ride was generating a lot of excitement among the patrons at the park. But little did anyone know that this seemingly awesome ride would lead to an unthinkable tragedy. An amusement park worker, Charles A. Carnell, found himself in a situation where the unexpected became a horrifying reality. As a Florida girl prepared for a descent from a height of 100 feet, Carnell unfortunately blanked out, failing to provide the necessary all-clear signal. The consequences were awful. As the young girl plunged to the ground, her life forever altered by this accident. The impact of this fall would leave lasting physical and emotional scars, with the consequences going far beyond the amusement park. In the wake of the tragedy, Charles A. Carnell faced serious charges. He was charged with one count of first-degree reckless injury, a felony carrying a potential sentence of up to 25 years in prison, and hefty fines. Once again, it makes us question the safety protocols in these parks, not to mention the grave responsibility held by those entrusted with the well-being of park visitors. We must never forget the impact that such incidents have on the lives of those involved. 
Number 17, Ride of Steel. Now we're going to Darien Lake Theme Park in upstate New York, where a roller coaster accident claimed the life of U.S. Army Sergeant James Heckamere. Hakamir, an Iraq war veteran and double amputee, embarked on the Ride of Steel at approximately 5.30 p.m. Hakamir was ejected from the roller coaster while seated in the very front of the ride. The restraints on the roller coaster, consisting of a lap bar and seatbelt, were meant to ensure the safety of all riders. However, the circumstances surrounding the incident led to this horrifying outcome. Hakamir's children and sister were present at the park, but were not riding with him at the time of the accident. Hakamir's love for adventure and determination were evident as he was on a mission to experience every roller coaster in the park. Witnesses said that park attendants did not question Hakamir's desire to ride the coaster, including his nephew, Ashton Lufren, who accompanied him. The incident surely raises important questions about accessibility and ensuring the safety of individuals with disabilities in amusement parks. Number 16. Woman after falling from roller coaster. This one took place at Blue Bayou Water Park, Dixie Land and Amusement Park, and it led to the passing of Lindsay Zeno. Blue Bayou Water Park, located in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, is a popular family destination featuring an array of water-based attractions. Known for its large wave pool, lazy river, and numerous high-speed slides, it caters to all age groups. In addition to water activities, it hosts Dixie Landon, an amusement park with traditional rides and entertainment. Its welcoming ambiance and the balance between relaxation and thrill make it a popular location for both local residents and tourists looking for a cool off from the summer heat. However, Lindsay Zeno, a 21-year-old from Lafayette, met her end while riding the extreme roller coaster at the park. Witnesses reported that she fell approximately 30 feet from the ride leading to her demise. The Extreme Roller Coaster, a thrilling attraction that opened just three years ago, is known for its spinning motion and twists along a steel track. It provides riders with an exhilarating experience, but on this day, tragedy struck. Eyewitnesses recounted the moment when the safety restraint malfunctioned. As Zeno attempted to secure herself by pulling the restraint back over her chest, it became apparent that she was unable to do so. With a sharp turn, she tragically fell to the ground, leaving everyone in shock and disbelief. Tabitha Arnold, who witnessed the incident, described the scene as one of horror. The onlookers were left frozen, their eyes fixed on the devastating sight before them. Number 15. Amusement Park Ride Splits Mid-Air our next tragedy struck at Karnkaria Theme Park in Amenabad, India. As the sun began to set on that faithful Sunday, nobody knew this would be a day of true horror for the victims and their families. It houses a zoo, a kid's city, a toy train, and a balloon safari, making it a family-friendly destination. The theme park also hosts regular cultural events and shows. Its waterfront promenade is popular for leisurely strolls, with food stalls providing local cuisine. Kankaria Theme Park's blend of traditional charm and modern amenities make it an important part of Amenabad's cultural landscape. On this dark day, at around 5.40 p.m., the Pendulum Ride, an attraction that swings back and forth through the air, experienced a catastrophic failure. In a horrifying moment, the ride split in half, sending shockwaves through the crowd. Chaos ensued as screams filled the air and panic gripped the onlookers. Emergency services rushed to the scene, working tirelessly to rescue those who were trapped and injured. The seriousness of the incident soon became apparent. Two lives were tragically lost in the disaster. Manali Rajvadi, a 24-year-old, and Mohammed Zaid Momin, a 22-year-old, were taken away far too soon. As the news spread, the community was shocked. The investigation into the accident is underway as authorities strive to uncover the cause of this devastating incident. Number 14. Iowa Theme Park In an incident at Adventureland Park in Altoona, Iowa, tragedy struck the Raging River water ride. What was supposed to be a day of fun quickly turned into a nightmare for four children. As the sun began to set, Michael Jaramillo, an 11-year-old boy, boarded the Raging River Raft along with three others. Little did they know that this ride would take an unexpected turn. At approximately 7.30 p.m., the unthinkable happened. The raft overturned, plunging the riders into a moment of sheer terror. In the midst of the chaos, emergency responders and brave witnesses rushed to the scene, determined to rescue those in need. Tragically, Michael Jaramillo 
to his injuries. One child was left in a critical condition, fighting for recovery, while two others sustained minor injuries. Adventureland Park took swift action, closing the Raging River Ride and initiating a thorough investigation in collaboration with state and local authorities. Determining the cause of this devastating accident is of utmost importance to prevent such incidents in the future. Number 13. Mexico City Amusement Park now we head to La Feria Amusement Park in Mexico City, where a roller coaster ride took the lives of two people. A speeding rail car lost control and flipped over mid-ride, leading to the loss of two lives and injuring two others. The last car of the coaster derailed, causing unimaginable devastation. Preliminary investigations point towards a mechanical failure as the cause of this unfortunate incident. The car became detached and plunged from a height of 33 feet, resulting in devastating consequences. As authorities delve into the details, the accident is being treated as a case of negligent homicide. It's important to hold accountable those responsible for ensuring the safety of riders, and this investigation will shed light on any lapses or oversights that may have occurred. Videos captured the horrifying moment when the car flipped almost upside down and collided with a metal loop on the roller coaster. The aftermath revealed a scene of first responders tending to the victims and a lone metal rail car resting on the ground. A grisly scene. Number 12. Kayak Experience Action Park in Vernon, New Jersey has a history marked by a series of accidents and fatalities earning it the dubious nickname Traction Park. The park, which operated from 1978 to 1996, was renowned for its lack of safety regulations and supervision, making it both an exciting and perilous destination. Numerous incidents occurred on the park's rides due to their inherently dangerous designs and the park's lax approach to safety. The Cannonball Loop, a water slide with a full vertical loop, was especially infamous for causing injuries. Similarly, the Alpine Slide, a concrete track, led to many accidents due to high speed and lack of control. The park's wave pool, known as the Grave Pool, was also notoriously unsafe. It was the site of several drownings due to the powerful waves and crowded conditions. During its operation, Action Park was associated with six confirmed fatalities, ranging from drownings to an electrocution incident along with countless injuries. These incidents led to a plethora of lawsuits against the park's management. Action Park eventually closed in 1996 but was reopened under new management as Mountain Creek Water Park. Despite attempts to improve safety measures, the park's notorious history continues to linger in popular memory. Number 11. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad Disneyland. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is a popular roller coaster attraction at various Disneyland parks worldwide. While it's generally considered a safe ride, there have been several notable accidents on the Disneyland California version of the attraction. The most tragic incident occurred on September 5th of 2003, when a derailment resulted in the death of a 22-year-old man and injured 10 other passengers. The accident was attributed to improper maintenance, specifically the failure to tighten and secure a guide wheel assembly on one of the coaster's cars. Previously, in March of 1998, five passengers were injured when a large pine tree fell onto the tracks due to saturated soil and high winds, causing a train to partially derail. All five passengers were taken to the hospital for minor injuries. Apart from these two significant incidents, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad has been associated with several less severe accidents, including minor injuries caused by the jarring motion of the roller coaster. Number 10. Roger Rabbit Cartoon Spin Now we're looking at another unfortunate incident that took place at Disneyland, leaving us with another sad story. A series of factors combined to create an accident that changed the life of a four-year-old boy named Brandon Zucker. One of the most serious accidents at Disneyland happened in 2000 at the Roger Rabbit cartoon spin. This tragedy involved four-year-old Brandon, who fell from the moving ride and was trapped underneath one of the ride's cars. On September 22nd of 2000, Brandon Zucker and his parents were enjoying the Roger Rabbit cartoon spin ride when the young boy fell out of his car and ended up under another car on the ride. 
Due to the severity of his injuries, including internal bleeding, seizures, and cardiac arrest, he fell into a coma. The accident sparked intense scrutiny of Disneyland's safety measures. An investigation found that the lack of a safety bar in the ride's vehicles was a significant factor in the accident. Disneyland responded by making several changes to the ride, including adding more explicit safety instructions and modifying the ride vehicles to include lap bars. The incident had a significant impact on Zucker, who had to undergo multiple surgeries and years of therapy. Unfortunately, he never recovered from his injuries and passed away in 2009 at the age of 13. Number 9. Verrucht Waterslide This is the ill-fated story of Verrucht, the world's tallest waterslide, which turned out to be a terrible, tragic idea. Standing an astonishing 169 feet, Verruck dared to challenge the laws of physics. Brave souls would hurl themselves down the nearly vertical 17-story chute, reaching mind-boggling speeds of up to 70 miles per hour. It was an adrenaline rush like no other, attracting visitors from far and wide to Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City, Kansas. But on August 7th of 2016, the unimaginable happened. Ten-year-old Caleb Schwab's raft went airborne, colliding with a metal pole supporting a safety net. The result was a tragedy beyond words. Caleb was decapitated, his life tragically cut short in an instant. Filmmaker Nathan Truesdale, a nearby Missouri resident, couldn't ignore the devastating news. He set out to uncover the truth behind this incident. As he dug deeper, layers of negligence, lax regulations, and sheer hubris began to unravel. In his bone-chilling documentary titled The Water Slide, Truesdale put together news and promotional footage to shed light on this ill-conceived project and the catastrophic consequences it brought forth. What started as an ambitious endeavor to break records and attract attention became a deadly, catastrophic failure. Back in 2012, Schlitterbahn co-owner Jeff Henry and senior designer John Shuley rushed the construction of Verrucht to coincide with their appearance on a reality TV show about amusement parks. Their eyes were set on a Guinness World Record, but what they lacked was a solid foundation in mechanical engineering. Shockingly, under Kansas state law, they had the power to deem their own creation safe without the need for inspections by a state agency. The consequences of cutting corners and underestimating the intricacies of engineering can be devastating. Number 8. Thunder River Rapids One of the worst amusement park accidents in recent history took place at Dreamworld in Gold Coast, Australia on October 25th of 2016. This tragic incident involved the Thunder River Rapids ride and resulted in the of four people, Kate Goodchild, Luke Dorsett, Ruzbe Aragi, and Cindy Lowe. The four victims were aboard one of the ride's rafts when it flipped after hitting another raft that was stranded near the end of the ride. The victims were either trapped in the machinery or thrown into the water, resulting in their instant deaths. The incident sparked a significant investigation and major legal proceedings. The Australian Work, Health and Safety investigation found a series of failures related to the ride's maintenance and safety procedures, including an inadequate emergency stop mechanism and lack of staff training. The park's operator, Ardent Leisure, pled guilty to three charges of failing to comply with health and safety duties and was fined $3.6 million. The Thunder River Rapids ride was permanently closed and demolished after the incident. The tragedy profoundly affected public sentiment towards amusement park safety in Australia and led to more stringent safety standards across the industry. Number 7. Texas Giant Next is the incident that unfolded at Six Flags over Texas in Arlington, where Rosa Ayala Goana's roller coaster ride on the Texas Giant ended in a devastating fall. Six Flags, founded in Texas in 1961, is one of the largest amusement park companies in the world. The name Six Flags refers to the six nations that have governed Texas Spain, France, Mexico, the Republic of Texas, the United States, and the Confederate States. I'm both surprised Texas is celebrating celebrating all the different people that ruled over them and grossed out that it includes the Confederate one. Known for thrilling rides and entertainment, the brand has expanded internationally over the decades. The company, however, has faced various challenges, including bankruptcy in 2009 due to a large debt load. Despite these difficulties, Six Flags emerged from bankruptcy in 2010 and continues to be a major player in the amusement park industry. 
Rosa Ayala Goana, also known as Rosa Esparza, was involved in a tragic accident at the Six Flags Over Texas Amusement Park on July 19th of 2013. Miss Ayala Goana was riding the Texas Giant Roller Coaster, one of the park's top attractions, when she was ejected from her seat during the ride. She fell approximately 75 feet. Tragically, she did not survive the fall. Following the incident, the ride was immediately closed for investigation. Initial reports indicated that the safety bar on Ayala Goana's seat had not been properly secured. However, the subsequent legal proceedings did not clearly establish whether the incident was due to a mechanical failure, operator error, or a combination of both. Number 6. Tsunami the Tsunami Ride at M&D's theme park in Motherwell, Scotland is a thrilling adventure, but it suddenly found itself in the midst of chaos. In a shocking derailment on June 26 of 2016, the coaster careened off its tracks and came crashing down to the ground, leaving riders and onlookers in a state of disbelief. This was no ordinary joyride. There were 10 people on board the car at the time, 8 children, 2 adults. All were injured in the accident, but we can at least be grateful that no lives were lost. Emergency services were quickly on the scene to free and treat the victims, some of whom were seriously injured and required hospitalization. The tsunami ride, which was known to reach speeds of up to 40 miles per hour and had a series of loops and twists, was immediately closed for investigation. The park itself was also temporarily closed. Number 5. Drop Zone a tragic incident occurred on September 7th of 1999 at Paramount's Great America Amusement Park in Santa Clara, California, involving a ride known as the Drop Zone Stunt Tower. Joshua Smurfett, a 12-year-old boy, fell to his from the free fall ride. Joshua was on the Drop Zone, a ride that lifts passengers up a 224-foot tower before releasing them into a free fall at high speed. As the ride descended, Joshua slipped from the ride's restraints and fell approximately 200 feet. The accident prompted an immediate investigation by the California Division of Occupational Safety and Health. The drop zone was closed during this investigation. Reports following the investigation indicated that the restraints on the ride were functioning correctly at the time of the incident. However, it was determined that Joshua's physical size, he was very tall and thin for his age, may have contributed to his ability to slip from the restraints. Number 4. King's Crown Next up, we bring you a story that embodies the resilience and courage of a young girl named Elizabeth Gilreath, affectionately known as Lulu. Lulu, on her first ever visit to a carnival, experienced a shocking accident on the King's Crown ride at a carnival in Omaha, Nebraska, on May 7th of 2016. Elizabeth, who was just 11 years old at the time, was on the spinning ride when her hair got caught in the ride's machinery, causing her scalp to be torn off from her head. The ride continued to spin for several minutes before it was stopped. The severity of Elizabeth's injuries required several surgeries and a lengthy recovery period. She lost a significant portion of her scalp in the accident and was left partially blind in one eye. Let's pause for a moment to grasp the magnitude of Lulu's journey since that faithful accident. Over the course of nearly a year, she faced two head surgeries, three skin grafts, one eye surgery, and an astonishing 28 blood transfusions. Her strength and resilience are truly inspiring. Lulu vividly recalls the disorienting sensation of sliding down in her seat, only to awaken in a hospital bed, unaware of the extent of her injuries. Then, in a vulnerable moment, she caught a glimpse of herself in an uncovered mirror, confronted with the reality of her altered appearance. Yet Lulu found the strength to embrace her new reality. Her mother captured a poignant image of the first time Lulu saw herself after the accident, a testament to her unwavering bravery. With each passing day, Lulu's curls are regaining their strength. She's now even able to gather her hair into a ponytail again. Number 3. Wild Wonder Jillian's Wonderland Pier is a historic amusement park located in Ocean City, New Jersey. The park was founded in 1929 by David Gillian, who initially operated a carousel on the Ocean City boardwalk. Over the years, the small carousel operation grew into a full-fledged amusement park, known as Gillian's Fun Deck and later as Gillian's Wonderland Pier. The park, which is still owned and operated by the Gillian family, has been a staple of Ocean City entertainment for decades. It features 
features a variety of rides and attractions from gentle kiddie rides to more thrilling roller coasters, as well as the iconic giant wheel. On August 28 of 1999, an accident occurred on the Wild Wonder Roller Coaster at Jillian's Wonderland Pier, leading to the of two people, Mark Matzkat and his eight-year-old daughter Jessica. The two were seated at the front car of the Wild Wonder roller coaster, a two-minute ride that featured a double feature eight track with dips and hills. As their car was ascending one of the ride's steepest hills, it suddenly reversed and rolled backwards, crashing into another car that was being loaded with passengers. Both Mark and his daughter were pronounced at the scene. It was later determined that the cause of for both victims was massive blunt trauma. No other riders were seriously injured in the accident. An investigation into the incident found that a malfunction in the ride's anti-rollback system, which was designed to prevent cars from falling backward down the track, was the primary cause of the accident. The ride was immediately closed and eventually dismantled. Number 2. The Wildcat Tragedy struck once again at Bell's Amusement Park in Tulsa, Oklahoma, when a routine ride on the Wildcat roller coaster took a devastating turn. A 14-year-old boy lost his life, and six others were injured in a horrifying accident. On the day of the accident, back in 1997, a car near the end of the Wildcat roller coaster train disengaged from the track on the lift hill causing it to roll backwards and collide with another car at the loading station. The boy was ejected from the ride and suffered fatal injuries. A mechanical failure of the anti-rollback device on the roller coaster was responsible for the accident. The device, which is designed to prevent roller coaster cars from rolling backwards down a hill in the event of a chain or drive system failure, failed to engage, allowing the car to roll back. The impact of the collision was severe, resulting in the tragic loss of a young life and leaving six others with injuries. Emergency services swiftly arrived at the scene, rushing the injured to nearby hospitals for urgent medical care. Two of the individuals injured were in serious condition. Bell's Amusement Park, a family-owned business that had operated for more than half a century, closed in 2006 for unrelated reasons and did not reopen. The Wildcat roller coaster was dismantled after the park's closure. Number 1. Sandblaster on a sunny day in Daytona Beach, Florida, two women from Kentucky headed out on what was meant to be a fun ride at the Daytona Beach Sand Blaster roller coaster. Little did they know that their lives were about to take a terrifying turn. In a photo captured just before the incident, the women can be seen smiling as they raise their hands in excitement, but within moments, everything changed. The roller coaster car they were in veered off the rails. Riders were left dangling in mid-air for what must have felt like an eternity. Others were forcefully thrown from their seats. Among the injured were Amanda Bostick and Missy Collins, who had traveled to Florida to accompany adults with special needs on a memorable trip. Reflecting on that faithful day, Amanda Bostick shared, Everyone that was on that ride, their lives have been changed. The experience left deep physical and emotional scars on the victims, including Bostick and Collins, who suffered serious injuries. As we come to the end of our journey, we're left with some thoughts. What can we learn from these incidents? How can we prioritize safety and prevent future tragedies? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.